Teachers have been thrust into the world of video conferencing and online instruction with little preparation. We've been making it work, but let's see if we can go a few steps further than that. With a few simple tips, we can enhance online learning by helping our meetings look and sound more engaging. We may be newbies, but looking like a pro online can be as simple as one, two, three. Let's start with lighting. You want your audience to be able to see you clearly. The webcam in your computer works automatically, but it can use your help. How many of you have joined a teleconference only to find that you look like this? This is an example of backlighting. The webcam is setting its exposure to the bright sunlight from the window behind you, leaving your face in the dark. Since you can't reposition this light source, the easiest solution is to reposition yourself. Look what happens if the subject simply turns. That's a bit better with the window to the side. Now that's much better with the window in front. Have you seen video look really fuzzy and pixelated like this? You might assume that you have a poor camera that can't focus well. The real problem is the room is too dark for the webcam. Cameras need way more light than our eyes do, so rooms that seem perfectly fine for reading or watching TV may be too dark for your computer, forcing the camera's image sensor to use giant pixelation to generate your video. The solution here is to bring in more light than you think you need. Here we've opened some windows and turned on a couple of bright floor lamps. That's much better. Next up is framing. You want to look natural and engaging to your audience. Why does this presenter look so unnatural? Yes, it's the low camera angle. He has his laptop literally in his lap. The result is a very distracting, unflattering, and unprofessional camera angle. The cure is to raise the laptop higher. Let's place it on a table. That looks a lot better, but he's still looking down at the camera. How about putting the computer on a small box or a stack of books? Now the camera's at eye level. If you want to get fancy, you can get a laptop stand. This makes it easier to conduct business with a separate keyboard and mouse. Our third fix is sound. Your audience can engage with your lesson better if they can hear you clearly. Consider getting a USB headset or microphone. Let's compare some options. This is how I sound using the built-in microphone on the laptop. Uh, as you can hear, it does pick up an awful lot of ambient noise in the room and, uh, and echoes. This is how I sound using a USB headset. This one is the Logitech ClearChat, available for about $25. And this is how I sound using a quality USB microphone. This particular one is the Blue Yeti Nano, which retails for about $100. As you heard, the built-in laptop mic is an okay option. They do pick up a lot of background noise though, so they work best in a quiet room. A good USB headset is a much better choice. They're easy to use, affordable, and sound great. Logitech's ClearChat is my favorite, but there are a number of good options on the market. Many of your students' favorite YouTube and Twitch personalities wear headsets. If you really want to get fancy, you can't go wrong with a high-quality USB microphone, sometimes called a podcasting mic. They give the clearest, most professional audio. My favorites are the Blue Yeti and Blue Yeti Nano. They sell for around $100, but you can find the Nano for much less when there's a good sale. So let's review our three easy tips. For better lighting, position yourself with bright light sources in front of you. For more natural framing, raise your laptop so the webcam is at eye level. For clearer sound, invest in a USB headset or good USB podcasting microphone. I hope these tips will help you take your lessons to the next level with comfort and confidence.